Hi, everybody. It's good to be back. Didn't expect to be back uh, quite so soon, but it is an honor to be able to uh, release and reveal FeatureP today. Uh, it's been um, being teased for a few weeks, but being worked on for far longer. So it's nice to finally get it into your hands, and I hope you love it. Um, in case you haven't been on Twitter or haven't looked at the uh, PEST code base recently, uh, FeatureP is parallel. So today, PEST is receiving first-party parallel support. It's based on the amazing work of uh, Paratest. So it's built on a solid foundation, and we've customized it and built on top of it to implement what we think is a really seamless experience for parallel testing in PEST. And I'm looking forward to showing that to you. But if you're newer to testing, you may not know what parallel is or why it's such a big deal. So let's just spend a couple of minutes discussing why this is such a cool feature. How does PEST run today? Well, PEST has always run in series, and you can imagine this as a set of race cars on a single track heading toward the finish line. The race cars can't overtake each other, so they run one at a time. And if you have a slow car up front or a long running test, that holds up the fast cars or the short running tests from being able to pass the finish line quickly. And so as your test suite grows, as you get more tests, it causes a linear increase in the length of your test suite. As an example, we have an application we work on at the company that I work for, 804 tests that run in 23.22 seconds. Now, that's not terrible. That's actually quite fast for 800 tests. Um, but we're going to see it get even better in just a moment. Let's now discuss PEST in parallel. You can imagine this as each test case being given its own racetrack, right? So there's nothing in front of the test case to stop it passing that finish line. The test runs side by side. Those fast cars, those short tests, are free to pass the finish line while those slower tests are still heading towards it. And over time, this causes an exponential decrease in the length of your test suite. As an example, that very same uh, suite from earlier, from the last slide, takes just 12.37 seconds in parallel. That's a 50% reduction just by using parallel over series. The main takeaway is that the more tests you have, the bigger your test application, uh, the larger the time savings are going to be. So if you've got a big test suite or you're planning on having a big test suite, Parallel is your savior. Here are some real life examples from our early testing of Pest Parallel. Uh, Sam Rowden, who's a member of the Laravel community, I work closely with him. Uh, his test suite was running in 101 seconds. With Pest Parallel, it runs in 39. Sparsy, well, I their ODA. Oh, Siri, try again. Siri's having a chat. Uh, ODA's uh, test suite ran in 346 seconds. It now runs in just 107. Oliver Newbro's Nightlands, 150 seconds down to 34 with parallel. And Worksome's test suite, which took 530 seconds, now takes just 201 with PEST parallel. That's over 300 seconds just by using parallel. But we've been trained to believe and think that nothing comes for free. So there must be some catch, right? I'm here to tell you that there is no catch. It is so easy to get started with Pass Parallel. So easy, in fact, that I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a real package. Let's quit the slideshow and get to the code. I'm going to be demoing this in a Rico Rock's SOAP Laravel package. Now, SOAP is a package that basically allows you to uh, work with SOAP APIs in a much nicer way. Sadly, we still have to work with SOAP APIs occasionally, so thank goodness for this package. But the cool thing about this package is it has a full PEST suite. Now, this will run in PHP unit suites as well, so don't worry. But this has a full PEST suite, so that's a bonus. So in our terminal, I'm just going to show you this running using vendor bin PEST, and we'll see the standard PEST output. And you can see this test runs in 3.77 seconds. Not bad. You're used to seeing this. This is exactly what you get when you run the PEST runner. I'm on v1.16 of PEST, and I'm just going to try tagging on the parallel option and see what happens. It's going to tell me that parallel support requires the PEST parallel plugin, and it's going to give me the exact code I need to run to get this up and running. So let's enter that into our terminal. We'll quickly install the parallel plugin, and then I'll go back and rerun that parallel command. Now, everything's going to look very similar but you'll notice the time has gone from 3.7 seconds to 0.7 seconds. How cool is that? What a huge saving. The reason I mentioned that everything looks very similar 
is because we have worked incredibly hard to make this an invisible, seamless experience. You can see that the output is identical. It's as if you forgot to run parallel and your test suite just got a million times faster. The only real indication is up here at the top, we get this little output that tells us we're running PEST in parallel using eight processors. How nice is that? Now, for the rest of the talk, I'm going to be shortening this to the shortcut, which is dash, dash P. So there's a dash P option that will do the exact same thing. Let's take a look at what error output looks like in PEST parallel. I'll come into this test here, and let's just add a second R to foobar. And we'll run this again, and you'll see we have full collision error reporting. We have the full stack trace, all the beautiful code output that we're used to with collision. If we scroll back up here, you can see we have our failure, we have our little X and our, our output. And even on the skips, things like that, we have all the information we need that tells us exactly why the test was skipped. How nice is that? I think it's just so seamless. It feels natural. Sometimes you'll forget you're even running the parallel option. Let's remove that error and get our tests passing again. That's what we always want, right? Here's some uh, other cool things about PEST Parallel. All of the options that you expect to work with PEST still work with PEST Parallel. So for example, I can do dash dash coverage. And I'll tell you what, if you've not seen coverage before, let me remove the parallel option. Coverage is basically the amount of uh, tests or the percentage of code covered by your test suite. Think of it that way. And PEST includes this gorgeous coverage output that tells you exactly how much each file um, contributes to the test suite. And if you have any tests that don't pass over a certain amount of code, so if you have pieces of code that aren't tested, it will tell you exactly which lines you need to go and add tests for. Well, this coverage works perfectly in parallel. So if I output this, you'll see I get the exact same coverage output, but with the gorgeous speed of parallel testing. I can even add something like dash dash min equals 90, which says basically if the code coverage percentage is 90% or lower, then fail. And when this runs, you'll see we get an error code of failure. And if this was in a continuous integration environment, the pipeline would fail and that would tell you you need to go write more tests. So it works seamlessly with PEST Parallel. It just feels natural. It feels right. One of the other things I'm really proud of, and let's open perhaps a different test to show this. Um, let's see, come in here. Intelligent Builder test, this will be. In, in PEST, there's a really cool method. It's called only, right? And it looks a bit like this. If you tag only onto a test, rather than having to filter down your tests and find the right test case to run on its own, you can just write only, and that will be the only test run. Well, this works perfectly in parallel too. And you might be thinking, well, I'd expect it to work perfectly in parallel. But this actually took tons of effort because this is not something that coincides very well with the way that parallel works by default. So we spent hours and hours at trying to work out the best way to make only work in PEST. And that's the awesome thing about the PEST team taking it upon themselves to build parallel support into PEST. It's such a seamless integration. If we go and add another only down here, we run this in parallel again. Now, those are the only two tests that run in parallel. So it's a really nice experience. Uh, one of the things you'll note, I'll just get rid of these onlys, is uh, we get this output saying, running PEST in parallel using eight processors. Now, that just happens to be the number of cores in my Mac mini CPU. But what if you want to run a different amount of processors? So if we run this in parallel, we get 0.71 seconds. We can use the dash dash processors option and specify the number of processors we want to use. Let's try 15 and see if we get any better results. Now we're running in just 0.57 seconds. So you can use the processors option to play around with how many processors get booted. And by doing that, you can squeeze out a little bit of uh, extra performance here and there. So have a play around with the processors option. Final thing I want to show you is our support for Laravel. Obviously, on the PEST team, we are very close to Laravel. We all use it in our day-to-day -day lives. Nuno works for Laravel. So we do not want to leave Laravel out when it comes to PEST in any way. Here I have opendoor.me. 
Now, if you don't know, opendoor.me is uh, the subject of pest in practice. It's what we've been building the pest tests on in the pest in, pest in practice series. And this has a full pest read. So let's try vendor bin pest, and you'll see these tests running in pest. Now, what you might not know is that the PHP artisan test command already worked with pest. That's to say, if you run PHP artisan test and you have pest installed, it will automatically run pest rather than PHP unit. Well, as of Laravel 8.55, you can now do PHP artisan test dash dash parallel, and it will detect that you want to use pest parallel instead of para test. How awesome is that? So you can use all of the commands you're used to in Laravel, and they will just work with pest out of the box. What's even nicer is that the parallel hooks that are supported by Laravel also work in pest parallel. So that allows you to do some really cool setup scenarios in your parallel test suites. I don't want to go much further into this. You can go try everything out. You can see the performance improvements on your own test suites. But just to say, we have a lot in store for parallel going forward. We've already found various performance um, uh, increases that we can work on. So we're actively working on those at the moment. We're working on PHP storm integration. We're working on compact view modes and a full hook system that allows you to take parallel to the next level. So we can't wait to carry on releasing things in the near future. Just remember that PES Parallel is currently in beta. So if you find any issues, just let us know and we'll do our best to iron them out. Let's get back to the presentation. I just want to say a few big thank yous. PEST is not a one-man effort. First of all, thank you to Nuno. If he hadn't created PEST, I would not have been able to work on PEST Parallel. And he's been super busy. He's got his Laracon talk. He's been away on vacation. He has still taken the time out to pair with me, to help me out take a look at various things, give feedback, and prepare for the PEST meetup. Thank you for all the effort, you know. It doesn't go unnoticed. I also want to thank the core PEST team. They have been awesome. I spam them every day with suggestions, questions, ideas, ask them to test things. And they've even gone as far as to translate the blog that was uh, announced with the release on Twitter into various different languages. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate all the help. Would not have been able to do it without you. I also want to give a special mention to Adrian. Adrian reached out to me originally and asked to work on Parallel with me. And he has contributed a ton of ideas to Parallel. Uh, he's helped push various features forward. And in all honesty, without him, I probably wouldn't have started work on it. So thank you so much, Adrian. Really appreciate all the help and support that you've given. On that note, I want to hand it back to Nuno. But just to say that if you appreciate and use PEST in your day-to-day -day life, do consider supporting the work, uh, sponsoring myself, sponsoring Nuno, sponsoring the core PEST team and helping us because it really gives us the opportunity to spend more time developing new and better features for PEST. But with that, thank you very much for listening and I'll hand back to Nuno.